take a minute or two to tell you about um, our program before I introduce our speaker, who can tell you a lot more from his um, vantage point. But um, basically, Heritage India is a program um, that came about, um, you know, obviously it was an idea from MR, and he, we were talking with Sridhar, and we're like, you know what, there's no Birthright India program. Why is there no program for students of, you know, Indian descent to go back and see their homeland through their own eyes? Through the eyes, not through the eyes of the media, not through the eyes of their parents or grandparents, but to really see the vastness and the riches of India. So we took, um, I had the the honor of taking eight students of Indian descent for three weeks across um, various areas of India. We went to Delhi, we went to Gujarat, and we went to Kerala. And, um, you know, this, this program, the theme was India's riches, the, the culture, the diversity, the history, and the democracy of India. And this program, uh, I just want to take a minute to acknowledge um, not only Sridhar Iyengar, who we teamed up with 360 Plus Foundation and his team who helped make it possible, but also through Chris Gopal Krishnan, who fully funded this trip for these students. He really has a heart. Um, unfortunately, he's not able to be with us here today, but he got to meet all the students in Kerala at um, his startup village, and it was really, really special. And one of the students, they all wanted to know, well, why did you, why did you want to sponsor this trip? And he said, well, I want to create ambassadors for India. I want to have a, you know, U.S.-India relation starting with the, you know, second and third generation. We don't want to lose that touch, right? So anyways, um, it's my pleasure to introduce one of our students um, to give his story, DJ Jossel. Please come up, DJ. He is now a freshman at Virginia Tech. Welcome, DJ. Hi, everyone. Um, my name is DJ, and as Gabriel mentioned, I was fortunate um, enough to be able to go on the Heritage India trip this summer. Um, and it was truly one of the most amazing and life-changing experiences of my entire life. Um, before we embarked upon the trip this summer, my knowledge of India was pretty limited. Um, if I'm being completely honest, most of my information that I knew about India came from ZTV shows that I used to watch with my family at dinner time. Um, and the rest pretty much came from trips that I made to India when I was younger to Patiala, Punjab, which is where my family is from. And um, I remember like when we went to India, like immediately when we got there, like at the airport, like there was a big culture shock. Like I remember, it took me a minute to just process that we weren't on the right side of the road anymore. Um, so it was definitely like a big like transition, but I definitely learned so much from the experience. Um, as a second generation Indian American, I've always like identified as an Indian. It's always been like a big part of who I am and the values that I hold. Um, but I always felt like I didn't really understand that completely. Um, and like I didn't really understand what that entailed until I was able to see India for myself. Um, so going into this trip, I really just wanted to see India from my own lens um, and develop like this own like understanding of what India meant for me um, outside of like what my parents had always taught me and always told me. Um, so one thing that I don't think I ever really considered before I went to India was just like how diverse India is um, in terms of its culture, geography, um, the various ethnicities, socioeconomically, religiously, linguistically, and everything um, that makes India what it is. And as we traveled through India from New Delhi all the way to Kanyakumari, um, the southern tip, we went to large cities and tribal villages. We went to a mosque, a synagogue, a Jain temple, a Hindu temple, mosques. Um, we drank tea with Chris Gopalakrishnan at Startup Village with some of the biggest, entre biggest like, rising entrepreneurs in India. And then we also had tea on the side of the road um, in Kerala. So it was just like a really diverse experience. And that's something that really like, defines India to me now. Um, just the diversity that there is there. And um, there's like five other themes that I really like identified with while I was in India. And like I have some pictures I want to show you guys that I took from my trip. Um, and those themes are growth, gratitude, vivacity, sustainability, and hope. And to talk about these themes, I have these pictures. Um, but before I do that, I just want to bring some attention to this picture right here. Um, and this is probably like one of the most important pictures that I have because it's really like the group that I had the opportunity to spend these three weeks with. Um, 
I really couldn't have asked for a better group of people. We were all 15 to 18 years old. Um, most of us were in high school, and two of us had just graduated. Um, and I couldn't have imagined a better group to scream, um, scream when we saw like cockroaches, and even just like travel India, like uh, in general. Um, and also Gabriel and our two leaders, Raj and Tabish, and also Sridhar, who was with us too. They really just helped us like reflect on what we were seeing. Um, acknowledge the notions that we already had of India and like just reflect on what we were seeing and process that, which is really important and really just helped me like take the most out of this experience. Um, so the first theme is growth. So this is in Old Delhi at Nizamuddin's Darga um, in Old Delhi. And so it was like, I don't know if any of you, if any of you guys have been there, but there is like really narrow pathways and it's like, it's a really cool place and you get to see so much of the culture of India. And it's so cool to me how um, we were in this place that had so much rich history and then outside of the city there was this bustling, um, fast-paced city like, that was surrounding it. Um, and there's so much like, historical, historical monuments just nestled in the city such as the Red Fort, um, the Jama Masjid, and I just like, it was really amazing to see how much India has grown and how much like, it will continue to grow. Um, so the next picture I have is gratitude. So a little bit, um, a backstory on this is this is in Hope Village, um, a place that we visited in Kerala. And so what it was, it was like actually an orphanage that we visited. And one of the really cool things about Hope Village was, so they took like a different approach to an orphanage. So what they did was they had all these kids who had experienced so much adversity in their life whose parents um, weren't able to be there for them anymore. Um, and what they did was they actually had mothers who um, wanted to give back to their community. And what they did was they assigned kids to one mother and they would all live in a house together and they would cook together, they would live together, they would make those relationships together. And um, they brought together kids who had been through so much adversity. And I remember we asked them like, how do you like select the mothers that these kids live with? And the person who managed Hope Village told us that he looks for people who are genuinely happy. Um, like they look for mothers who are genuinely happy, who will bring happiness to these kids who have already, already experienced so much in their life. Um, and that just like showed me that it's really important to have gratitude for everything that we have um, because these, um, these kids and these mothers have so much gratitude for what they have, despite everything that they've been through. Um, so the next theme is vivacity. So this was in Kochi, Kerala. Um, this was a Kathakali dancer that we saw there. Um, and actually, we got to see the Kathakali dancers like get ready, put their makeup on, get dressed and everything. Um, and then we saw them perform. And it was just such a cool experience. We were actually in the front row. So at first we were like, like what's happening? Because we had never really like, seen it before. But it was such like, an interesting ex experience. And it was so cool that they could like, tell a story just from their expressions and like, the moves that they had. Um, and that kind of just showed us like, how like, I'm from Punjab. and like. They don't really have this there. Um, this is like um, more in like southern India. So it just showed me like again how diverse India is in terms of its culture and like its traditions. Um, so the next is in Kumarakulam, Kerala, and the theme for this I thought was sustainability. So what's in this picture is there's the woman that we met. We actually went on like a, a houseboat in the backwaters of Kerala, and so we went to like a village that was nearby, like this river that we that we saw. Um, and there was a woman who lived there, and she was actually making the roof of her home from um, dead coconut leaves that were there. Um, and she told us that she makes it like every year um, before like the monsoon season, and like she makes it herself. Um, and it really just showed me like how how like forward thinking people are in India, and like how they really use what they have to their best ability. Um, and clearly, here she was. And she actually helped, she actually let us like make it with her. So we like helped her build her roof, which was really cool. Um, and then finally, the next theme that, the last theme that I have is, um, is hope. So we actually got the opportunity to go to the Mahatma Gandhi International School in Ahmedabad, Gujarat. And so what we did was we worked with them for three days and we developed like a project like defining what the legacy of Martin Luther King and Mahatma Gandhi meant to us personally. Um, and so we met the most amazing group of kids, and they were all 10th graders. Um, and we just got to know them. 
And in this picture, we're actually learning Garba from them. And like none of us had really like done Garba before, but it was like such a like fun, positive experience. Like nobody was like judging each other, even though I was like probably the worst one in that circle. <laughs> um, and it was just like such a fun experience, and I really just truly had so much fun. And what I really took out of that was we live on opposite sides of the globe, but we're still so similar. Um, these kids, what really was interesting about them was they were interested in being advocates for change in their community. Um, they came from so many different um, castes. They came from so many different backgrounds. I remember one of the students was telling us that her ancestors belonged to the lowest caste um, in the caste system, and she was telling us just how much her family had been through um, and that unique experience that she grew up like knowing about. And it was just such a an amazing experience just to like meet kids who are my age and like the age of people in our group um, and just to see how similar we were and like how similar our passions are and like how similar we are and like what we want to accomplish in the future. Um, so yeah, that's, those are the five themes that I have and I just want to thank Indiaspora again for sponsoring this trip because it truly, it truly like changed my view of the entire, of my entire culture in India in general and I had the time of my life. So thank you.